guess I'm just a grumpy old man now. Between my aches and pains. Oh, the aches and the pains. They never end. They're always there. It's always something. The more exercise I try to get, the more shape I try to get, the more I push myself to try and lose weight, the worse it gets. I tried using some uh, Cambodia something or other for a couple weeks. I've gained five pounds. I try to go play softball, you know, or do, do some exercise, something to help me get a little more active. My pains are worse. I can't move as well. I end up spraining my fingers and my joints and stressing out my muscles. My wife hates me because I don't talk to her enough. And yet the more I talk to her, the more she seems to get upset at me and annoyed with me. My kids, they don't listen to me. I have to yell at him to get him to do anything. And yet, when I don't do something for them, they get upset. Is that how they expect life to be? You gotta be upset in order to get anything done? It's probably my fault. I try to be more positive. You know, really try to, to be positive. I just end up feeling phony and grumpier and more upset with myself for not being myself and yet I don't like being negative because that's that's still fun. That sucks too. I suck at blogging. I shouldn't say blogging. Vlogging. I suck at vlogging. I suck at vlogging. Okay, I get it. I'm terrible. I'm horrible at this. I don't know what I'm doing. I try to follow my passions in life. Try to do things that light my fire and get me going. My wife gets pissed off at me for it. Why would you want to do that? I used to pay someone to clean my house. Well, my wife did. She does all the finances because I made one mistake one time and she was like, Nope, you're done. I'm taking it over. And then my wife has this idea. We'll save money by cleaning the house ourselves. I'm like, okay, good luck with that. Guess who's doing most of the cleaning? I got tons of debt. More than I ever thought I would. Not that I can't afford to pay my debt. At least I could until my wife quit her job because she thought she needed to stay home with the kids. My truck. Love this FJ. It's my favorite vehicle I've ever had. Well, almost. I had a TRD Special Edition FJ a few years ago. But again, my joints, they were just getting so bad. The clutch was just... A stock clutch, I didn't like beef it up or anything. And it was still, it was getting too much for my knee. I mean, sometimes just driving for a long time, my other leg hurts because I'm working the pedals for a while. Like I said, favorite vehicle, but it's 10 years old. Almost 11 years old. And so, of course, a lot of things are wearing out on it. And I've been spending a lot of money this last six months getting a lot of stuff replaced on it. And I still have more to do. I'm probably gonna spend another 500 bucks this weekend on bushings and front end. And of course, it's gonna cause me pain working on it because, you know, my muscles and joints. I take vitamin supplements and things to try and help. It doesn't help, and then I start developing problems with my throat because, I don't know, things feel like they get stuck in there. So my doctor tells me to stop taking vitamin supplements. And then I go through, you know, all these other doctors, gastroenterologists, and ear, nose, throat specialists, and none of them find anything, of course, you know. They think it's stress related. It probably is. I guess I'm a high stress person. Did I mention that I don't sleep well? The aches, the pains. It's hard to get comfortable. My job sucks. Don't like my job either. 
it was fun when I first started working there because we had a lot of things to build and design and implement and I enjoy that. I like building things. I like making things. I like documenting things and coming up with standards and ideas and how to do it and you know, putting it down, documenting it, getting it all set up and functional and working and That's not what I do anymore. Now I monitor and troubleshoot, fix. Most of the time it's not even my problem. It's like I'm trying to back up your server over here. Or over there. Or maybe up there or down there. And their server's broken. So it looks bad on me because I can't back it up and I get error and my success rate goes down. And you know, that looks bad on me. So I have to chase them to fix their server. And you know, for whatever reason, they don't realize it's broken because it's not a high priority or whatever. I'm like, okay, why am I backing this up? Oh, it's gotta be backed up, we gotta save that data. Can't, can't not back that up. But you know, if it's down, oh, we don't care. We care about the data, you know. If we need that data back, we need it back. But if our server's down, oh, well, it's not a high priority. And most of the time it's the same few servers over and over and over. They fix them, they work for a couple days and they break again. Because they didn't really fix them. They, oh, we'll just reboot it and it's working again, as far as they're concerned. Didn't fix the underlying issue. But, you know, that's what happens when you're working at a company that's been downsizing for the last couple of years. And so you really just don't have enough people to really properly manage the environment. Maybe I'm just depressed. Maybe that's the root of my whole problem. Just depressed. Am I that undesirable? Am I that bad? I guess I'm just a grumpy old man now. I don't know what else to say. Stop talking. My turn to talk.